Since y'all want to ask dumbass questions, I got something for you. Deuteronomy 10, 12 through 22. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Hmm? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens is the Lord's thy God. The earth also, with all that therein is, everything belong to God, not man. Only the Lord had a delight in thy fathers to love them, and he chose their seed after them, even you above all people, as it is this day. God chose the people that he want to get pregnant when they are to get pregnant. Don't ask about being pregnant when there's an economical crash and your ass ain't fucking married and your husband ain't got a good fucking job. How about that? Don't ask about pregnancy. Only? Okay. Circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart and be no more stiff necked. For the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords, a great God, a mighty and terrible, a mighty and a terrible, which regardeth not person, nor taketh reward. God said he is mighty and he is terrible. And if you don't listen to him, he give you your reward. You'll just do. You don't listen to him when he tell you not to do something, he whoop your ass. If you listen to him when he tell you to do something, he gives you something nice. 18. He does execute the judgment of the fatherless and widow and loveth the stranger in giving him food and raiment. So if you listen to God, and, right, if you listen to God, he loves you, right? He take care of you. He feeds you. He makes sure you're protected. You don't have to worry about nothing when God loves you. You will go through stuff, but you ain't got to worry about nothing. You choose to worry. That's why he said, put it in my hand and let me handle it. That's why I continuously put y'all in God's hands and let him handle y'all. I don't have that type of time. But y'all keep coming back as a chaff, wanting to stick back to the wheat. The fuck over that way. Verse 19. Love ye therefore the stranger, for ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God, him, him shalt thou serve, and to him shalt thou cleave and swear by his name. Cleave to God. Stick with God. Love God in heaven. Do not ever leave God's side because he will not leave your side as long as you don't leave his side. And God don't like two-faced people. God, like, I know you ain't talking about me behind my back and want something for me too. No, you're not getting it. Verse 21. He is the praise and he is thy God that have done for thee these great and terrible things which thine eyes have seen. So God says what you're seeing right now is his vengeance and his recompense for his children. Right. Not just the vineyard. For all of his Christian babies. That he loves and that truly loves him, right? So if you was against the venue, please understand, you are not one of his children, right? <laughs> no, you've been playing, right? Verse 22, thy fathers went down into Egypt with three score and ten persons, and now the Lord thy God hath made thee as the stars of heaven for multitude, right? So, what this is saying is, Wait, 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 the Egypt, therefore, fathers went down to Egypt, uh, ten persons, and now the Lord that God hath made thee as the stars of heaven a multitude. Right, so God says, I have multiplied you. I have given you what you need. I have given you what you wanted because you are one of my children. You have listened. Y'all worried about getting pregnant. God said, get the fuck on. Worry about getting the fuck on. Worry about getting all the way the fuck on instead of worrying about getting pregnant. I can't believe you even asked me that fucking question about can y'all get pregnant. Go to a clinic and see what happened. Your ass to die on that table while they inseminate you. Go ahead and play with it. Right. You were told no. Why are you so ignorant about it? Go rebuild America while you worried about cracking your stinking ass clams and getting pregnant. Now that's the word of the Lord. Go fix your America and keep your damn legs closed while you worried about it. Are your kids in school while you asking can you get pregnant? Right. Are you working while you asking can you get pregnant? Thank you. Change our focus, because no, ain't nobody getting pregnant. Ask again. Even try to get pregnant. See what happens. You're going to get more diseases than pregnancy, trust me. Ain't no pregnancies coming, but you're going to get a lot of diseases.